Hello, this is David reviewing this setup of the Gazelle T4 Plus tent. I've used this a fair bit, but not extensively. I set it up in the yard like this probably five times or so before a two week car camping trip. The black tarp here is the optional footprint. For this video, I set it up two times, once in the yard here and once on my deck to get some interior shots. The main video here is a one-time take, so the time is accurate. When you take it out of the bag, the tent comes with a Velcro strap. That's what I am carrying it out of the bag with. I also have it held in place with a few bungee cords, which makes it more manageable. This is the Velcro strap. When it's unbundled like this, the black is the floor and the orange is the outside and the top. You kind of unfold it. The black end has two main hubs there and there. And then once you separate those, everything flops out and you can drag it roughly in place. So it's about the same location as your footprint. I leave my tie downs attached to the tent at all times. So each of the hubs that you pull out, in my case, have a cord attached to them, which makes pulling it out easier, as well as tying down easier. At this point, once all five sides are popped out, instructions say to attach the rain fly. If you were following the instructions, I would certainly do that yourself. I do that sometimes, but not all the time. My issue with attaching the rain fly now is that you can see the roof is very low. It makes it easy to drag the rain fly over the top of the tent and attach the poles in the corners. However, it's very heavy and it causes the middle to sag down a lot, making the installation of the poles around the screen room door more difficult. There are three poles for the screen room door. One is slightly shorter than the others. The short pole goes along the top and the two slightly longer poles go on each side of the door. The sleeves on the bottom for the poles are outside of the floor tub so you have to unvelcro the floor put the sleeve in and velcro it back in the sleeves that the poles slide into seem sturdy and have not given me any problems I pop up the roof in order to work on the door poles. I pop the roof back down to work on the rain fly because the roof has to be down when the rain fly is attached. 
This figure is from the instructions and shows how the door poles attach. The rainfly is huge, and the most important thing when you start working on the rainfly is to find one small little clip that attaches to the far side of the tent. That's this clip here. That goes on the far side of this video on the short side of the tent. So I hang on to that and I drag the entire rainfly over. So that's at, at the back. The gazelle printing goes on the outside and all four corners have a pole which go on the underside. The small clip at the end is not attached yet, but the four poles attach to their sleeves quite easily. Once again, the roof has to be popped down to do that. If the roof is already popped up, you can't attach the poles. You can see once you pop them up, there's a lot of tension that holds the rainfly in place. Once the rain flies on, I, I adjust all the four corners of the tent. I attach the hook on the far side of the rain fly into the hub on the far side of the tent. I pull out the rain fly flaps and the tie downs. I didn't stake it or tie anything down for this video. The rest of the instructions just go over staking it out and tying it down. 